Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video and I really hope you are having a wonderful day so far. So today's video topic is a little bit different than the ones that I would normally do on my channel, but it's something that I really love and that I'm really passionate about. And so many of you have the same interests as me. So I figured maybe you would be interested in today's video topic as well. And that is zero waste or low waste living for beginners. So I am in no way perfect at zero waste. I wouldn't even really call myself actually like zero waste because it's so hard, honestly, to be completely zero waste in our world. But I definitely try and make conscious decisions to lower my plastic use and lower the amount of things that I'm consuming so that I can make the earth a better place. And there's some different tips and tricks that I wanna share with you guys in today's video to hopefully just give you some ideas of ways that you can really just like get a handle on the amount of plastic plastic that you're using in your life and maybe make just some better decisions that will better the world in the future. So there are 10,000 people that watch these videos. And if everybody that watches this video just makes one small change in their life, like you stop using plastic bags for the rest of your life, just think about how much plastic that is. If for the rest of your life, you give up plastic bags, like that's just so amazing. And it'll save so much from going in the landfill and just poisoning our earth. That's why I really wanted to make a video about this, not just because it's good for the environment. Zero waste is good for so many other things too. It's really good for your wallet. It's good for saving money because you don't spend as much when you live more low waste. And it's also good for your mental health because when you're more conscious about the things that you're buying, you're not bringing as much clutter into your home. So your space is more clear and your mind is more clear as well. I think a lot of times zero waste can be intimidating for people and sometimes people will think that like oh what are my plastic bags gonna do to save the earth the earth is already too far gone and it's the big companies that are ruining the earth anyways so it's not really me that's gonna save everything so why even bother but there is another youtuber here that makes videos that I love and her name is Shell Bizzle and she makes a whole bunch of videos on zero waste and low waste living I really love her videos so I'll link her down below if you're interested but she has a quote that she says in all of her videos and it goes along the lines of like you can't do all the good that the world needs but the world needs all the good that you can do and I love this because you really don't have to do a lot to make a difference in the world like I said even just a few plastic bags out of the landfills can make a huge difference so that's why I wanted to make today's video hopefully to just inspire you to live a little bit more consciously and maybe reduce some of the plastic that you use in your life. So in keeping on the same topic of plastic bags, a super easy switch that you can do in your life if you're new to zero waste or low waste living is switching out your plastic bags for reusable bags. Super easy, I keep my reusable bags in the car when I go grocery shopping and then I just fill up my bags at the grocery store and bring them home, leave all the plastic at the store. And what I love about reusable bags is that they're so much bigger and more sturdy than the plastic ones that the store gives you anyways. So you can carry so much more. They're not gonna break on you like the plastic ones do. And you free up space because before I made the switch to reusable bags, I had a cupboard in my kitchen that I would keep my plastic bags in and it was literally busting out. Like I must have had 500 plastic bags in there. I managed to get them all down by using them as like garbage bags and different little things like that but I am so glad that I don't have that cluttered cupboard anymore full of thousands of plastic bags. I love using my reusable bags, so I'm really glad that I made that switch. The next really easy way that you can lower the amount of waste you produce is to use reusable mugs and straws. So a lot of times when you bring a reusable mug to a coffee shop, you'll actually get a discount. Some places will offer a 10% discount if you bring your own travel mug because you're not using their cups that they had to pay for 
for, so they give you a little bit of a discount, which is awesome. And if you think about all the times that you go out for coffee, say you go to Starbucks a couple times a week, and then think about every single time you've ever been to Starbucks in your life, and the fact that all of those Starbucks cups are still sitting in landfills because they haven't broken down yet, ugh, it makes me so sad. But better late than never to start using your reusable mug. Another way to lower some of the plastic that you're using in your life is to use reusable straws. I love mine and I always keep one in my bag to take everywhere with me just in case I'm out and I want to get a drink and I don't have to use a straw. Also, if you go to restaurants and you forget your reusable straw, you can just ask them to leave the straw out of your drink because you really don't need a straw unless you're somebody with a disability. And I know that straws can be really helpful for some people who have disabilities. So that's totally okay. But if the majority of us can stop using plastic straws, then that's awesome. And I always see posts on Facebook about plastic straws and how companies are using the whole straw thing as a way to kind of like divert the attention from large corporations who are burning so many fossil fuels and who are actually the culprit for climate change. They're making people feel like if they just use reusable straws, then the problem is going to go away. But that's not really true. And I do get that we should continue to pressure corporations and businesses to be more environmentally friendly. But at the same time, like I mentioned before, I think any little bit counts. And just because it might be big corporations that are doing most of the harm to the environment, that doesn't mean that we should just throw a bunch of plastic straws on top of it. If we can do a little bit and just use a reusable straw rather than one that we're just going to throw away, then I think that's really good. Guys, my parents have an addiction to paper towel. I don't know what it is, but they always have so much paper towel in the house and they go through it so fast and it makes me cringe. Whenever they're eating supper, they'll take like three paper towels to wipe their hands and their face with and they go through a roll like every couple days. And paper towel is just so unnecessary to me. You're spending money by buying the paper towel and then you're creating more waste when you really don't need it. So what I do is I have a whole bunch of reusable cloths that I just got at the dollar store or I use like old towels or something like that and then I use this to wipe up all of my spills my messes I use it to just like wipe off my hands anything that you would use a paper towel for and then you just throw them all in the washing machine wash them and they're good as new to reuse again so easy a way to save money way to save waste just paper towels are so wasteful when you can easily just replace them with reusable cloths let's talk about buying in bulk for a second I love bulk burn I don't know what the American equivalent to this store would be but if you're not from Canada bulk burn is a place that just sells a whole bunch of bulk food everything from like like oatmeal, baking supplies, candy, chocolate, everything that you can think of, but it's all package free just in bulk. And they have this new program where you can bring reusable jars and just fill them, keep refilling them, so then you don't have to use their plastic bags. So everything that I buy from the grocery store that comes in a plastic jar, like pasta sauce, for example, I'll wash out the jar and then I can reuse it when I go to bulk stores to get more food package free. So whenever I go to bulk barn I always buy granola I love buying granola because I can just get it in my jar it's super convenient and I eat it on like yogurt or just as cereal and I also buy pasta and different things like that at the bulk store so that I can put it all in jars and eliminate so much packaging I just love using my plastic jars so if you don't know of a bulk food store near you just look it up and see if you can just bring your jars and fill them up I always feel so accomplished after I go to the bulk food store and I come out with like a whole load of stuff that I got totally package free. Okay, you guys, I have to tell you about a product that is amazing. This is not sponsored at all. They did not send me this product. My mom actually bought them for me for Christmas and they are erase your face makeup cloths. I know you can get them at Winners and some like as seen on TV stores, but they're amazing. They're just microfiber face cloths. You wet them and then they take off your makeup. So cool. Say goodbye to makeup remover and re or disposable wipes. You don't have to use these anymore. You can just reuse 
use this cloth over and over again and save so much product and save so much money. Like think about how much makeup remover and cloths cost when you're just using them over and over again and throwing them out. But I've been using these erase your face cloths for a while now. They take my makeup off and then I just throw them in the washer when I'm done and when they're dirty and then I use them all over again. They're amazing. The next thing I'm going to talk about in this video is takeout and how just by minimizing the amount of takeout you're buying every week can save so much waste and plastic. Takeout is so wasteful and I really feel like I'm like anti takeout. I just more enjoy if I'm going to go out to a restaurant or if I'm going to spend money to eat out, I would much rather just go and sit down in the restaurant, have everything brought to me on a nice plate that can just be washed after. But like takeout makes me cringe. There's so much waste and you spend so much more money because it's so easy to just like call and make a takeout order. But they always pack so many napkins and like trash containers and like forks and knives that you have to throw out. There's just so much waste in with your takeout. So if you just stop buying takeout, it'll save you so much trash. As opposed to buying takeout, try and eat more at home because it's healthier, it's better for your bank account, and it's just overall better. Okay guys, the last tip that I'm gonna give you for living zero waste or low waste, if you're just starting out, is to buy secondhand or repair things before you buy new. I love going thrift shopping. I've been doing this for a while now and I can't remember the last time that I went to buy clothes new in a store. Something that's really awesome about thrift shopping is that all of the stuff that you buy, more than likely nobody else is going to have because things might be from different seasons or there's only one of them left in the store. So you're going to have a completely unique wardrobe, which I love. I actually got this shirt when I went thrift shopping for some new summer clothes. I love it. And I think it was only like $4, which is super awesome. But thrift shopping is so important. Buying secondhand is so important because it actually requires 2,700 liters of water to make one new cotton t-shirt. Just let that sink in. There's already like a water shortage in some places on the earth and it uses that much water to make one new t-shirt. Oh, it's so sad, but if you buy secondhand, it can really make a difference. That's why it's so important to go thrift shopping. And I love that thrift shopping is becoming a little bit more mainstream with all of the videos on YouTube, like come thrifting with me and stuff like that. So I think that's really cool. Leave me a comment down below if you like to go thrift shopping. I wanna actually do some more videos of like um, thrift hauls and different outfits that I put together by going thrifting. I think that would be really fun. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope it inspired you to live a more low waste or zero waste life. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up up because I would really appreciate it. And also hit the red subscribe button if you're new so that you can join our YouTube family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.